What's going on guys? Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. We're 4 and 1 with this team. Probably trying to get to 6 and 1. Reveal a diamond reward for you guys in this video. So we're going to need 106 or more likes. We sadly have an L. We took that yesterday. We're trying to bounce back. Win 8 games. I guess it would be 9 in a row. Try to, try to get to 12 wins again. I was hoping this could be a 12-0 team. We sadly lost the game, and uh, it's a pretty solid hitting team. I'm not a huge fan of the bullpen, though. Bullpen's okay, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But subscribe to this channel, Fortnite channel. Follow on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. All that's down in the description. Again, leave a like going for 106 or more. And comment down below the most memorable postseason. Like, if you had to think of one MLB postseason to come to mind, the most memorable one for you, which year would it be? Mine's probably 2011 just with uh i believe i think that was the year the cardinals were the wild card team but then just the world series against the rangers man it was absolutely crazy and i would have to say 2011 let me know yours down in that comment section below let's go ahead get win number five we're playing the syracuse banana man our opponent has chris davis immortal cal aaron judge daniel murphy 83 steve pierce jock peterson todd frazier francisco cervelli mike housechild on the mound we got ryan merritt on the mound away team looking for win number five if you guys saw yesterday's video okay you know and I'm, I'm doing it again man my pitching yesterday was so bad i was leaving everything down the middle part of the plate we gave up a lot of home runs because of it i'm kind of doing the same thing again today and i really if, if i want to win 12 games if I, but if i even want to win this game i need to change that i cannot be leaving so many pitches down the middle and just allowing my opponent not necessarily allowing but just giving them all these amazing pitches to hit you know i really really need to focus and make sure i'm locating the pitches where i want to and not just hanging pitches and missing my spots left and right denard span there we go one out base hit here in the top of the second inning 83 speed i don't know if i want to steal i want to try to steal but at the same time if we get something into the gap he's probably going to score anyways We'll just have to see what we decide to do. All right, I'm going to steal. 0-1, I'm stealing. Here we go, 83 speed. Good jump, Adam Jones. There we go. It works out perfectly. We're going to third. Hit and run sort of works to perfection, getting him over to third base. I think two down in the inning, right? Yeah, two down. Runner 90 feet away. Our common Pedro Florimon up to bat man i really would like this run here oh that's the pitch to do it on i wasn't ready for the knuckle curve though a little bit late on that one wild pitch 83 speed i'm sending him i'm risking it to get the biscuit dang it man it did not work going to the bottom of the second inning i oh man like i like being the away team because i can maybe get the momentum started whatever but if I don't have a run after the top of the third inning, that's when I get so scared. Because then my opponent, you know, I, I, I hang one pitch, bam, game's over. They walk it off. I hang a pitch, I hit a home run. And I really, really, in the top of the third inning, I'm hoping we can just get out of this inning without allowing a run or anything. But I'm really hoping top of the third, if that does happen, we, we you know, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm really hoping that I can score at least one run and close it down in the bottom of the third because I am just not a fan. I thought that was a home run off the bat, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm just not a fan of being in the away team and having it bottom of the third or later in Battle Royale where it's tied just because of that, that possibility for a walk-off. You know, I hang a lot of pitches. And if I, if I hang one and give up a walk-off dinger, it always makes me kind of sad just having the game end just like that all right so pedro florim on the common i shouldn't have i shouldn't have gone home man that was such a stupid decision leading us off good timing a little bit off on that pci placement though oh my goodness i thought that was it i saw that pitch floating in i felt good with the pci placement a little bit on top of that one paul Molitor coming up and then it's the pitcher spot i'm really hoping i can get willie mccovey up for another bat here in this inning that knuckle curve's throwing me off today. I am having some issues hitting that. Oh, man. I feel like I'm just missing some of these. Oh, my goodness. 0-2 oh, to Pauly. Come on, buddy. You got this. Oh, 1-2. Okay, okay. I would love to get a forcing fastball just down the middle right here. 
That's not down the middle. I mean, it's not. I don't know what it is. Either way, Paul Molitor, 88 speed into the gap. One of the deepest parts of the ballpark. Going to be a one-out triple. We have a pinch hitter, pinch hitter coming up. If he gets a fly ball, we take the lead. I'm going to bring in Franchi Cordero here. Wait, let me make sure he has a righty. I forgot, honestly. Yeah, he has a righty. So we're going to bring in uh, Franchi Cordero. I'm sorry if my pronunciations are terrible. Craig Stammen on the mound. If he does take him out, though, I have Todd Frazier on the bench, uh, who I think is batting, like, not batting, but has 107 power or something like that versus lefties. Franchi Cordero into the outfield. We're taking the lead on the sacrifice fly. Three outs away from win number five. That's huge, man. I really, really want to win this game. I want this to be a 12-win team. I want to win 12 games with every team. I obviously want to go 12-0. I can't do that because I suck at pitching, though. And uh, I, I just I want, to, I want to keep practicing, keep getting better, and keep winning games for you guys. Willie McCovey absolutely destroyed, man. This card is killing it for me recently. I think yesterday he had two homers. Today he has a home right now. Oh my goodness, someone got out of here in a hurry. 469 foot dinger. Reese Hoskins now. Let's go, baby. 40 speed. Getting the W. 5 1 with this team. Gonna go try to get win number six right now. Reveal the diamond reward for you guys. We're playing the Skyway Midland. Our opponent has Immortal Trout leading off, followed by 72 Chase Utley, JD Martinez, 68 Mike Moose, Stockis, Tim Anderson, 80 Mark Trumbo, Travis Shaw, Chris Jimenez, 77. How do you get how do you get this team and then a silver on the mound, man? Willie Wiley Peralta on the mound, 77 version. We got Daniel Corcino on the mound. Willie McCovey, three home runs in his last three games at least. It could be longer than that. Looking to make it four in a row, though. Away team, looking for win number six, revealing a diamond reward for you guys. Willie McCovey, another one. Absolutely destroyed, bro. This card is so good. Nine hits, seven of them are home runs. 446 foot bomb. Let's go. Oh, JD Martinez going the other way. Two ounce base hit here in the bottom of the first inning. Ooh, no, we're not going to get him. Two ounce, though. A runner on first. Lefty up to bat. I think we should be good, man. Billy Wagner's doing too, uh, doing pretty well. And I'm, I'm not, I'm still not amazing at pitching, obviously, but I'm doing better than I was yesterday and at the beginning of this video of hitting my spots. Oh, he's stealing 46 speed in the dirt. Yasmani throwing him out. There we go. Still facing the minimum. Yo, let's go. We lost connection with our opponent. There we go. I'll take that. I'm assuming they turned off their PlayStation or something. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what happened. And it's time to reveal a diamond reward for you guys. Let's see who it is. Please be good. Please be worth at least 10,000 stubs. I really hope so. Let's see. 85 Luis Severino. Hmm. Hmm. I think he's probably worth, especially being 85, about 5,000 stubs. Let's go ahead and check the live series starting pitchers. Luis Severino, not bad. I mean, if we if we did a sell order, we could maybe get about 8,000 for him. I would take that for sure. And I don't know if we'll go for it tomorrow. I mentioned this yesterday. I don't think I've mentioned it today. Maybe I did. But I'm trying to average about two games per video um, just because that's, I think, I, I don't want to do just one. And, you know, when I get when I start to get three, four, sometimes even five games, it's just I don't have time to do that with this channel. My Fortnite channel is sub to that, by the way. Just hit 300 subs a few days ago. And uh, and school as well, plus homework. You know, it's it's hard to, to get that many games in per video. And especially because I want to start streaming as well. So we have school, we have two channels, and we have streaming. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I don't know if we'll go for Luis Severino tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. If you guys enjoyed the video, though, be sure to leave a like. Going for 106 or more, I believe. Subscribe if y'all are new to this channel and the Fortnite channel. Comment anything down below. And, uh, and I was about to say, I don't even know what I was about to say. Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Follow on all of those. They should be in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.